Hi everybody, it's Cindy from Ask Nurse Cindy and I promised you that we'd be talking today about why or how is fat like a water balloon. So I'm here up in Virginia with my family for a little reunion and those of you that don't know me, maybe this is the first video you've watched, I've been a registered nurse for 38 years and I've also suffered with my weight problem for that entire time, for 59 years of my life. And about two months ago, I discovered the ketogenic way of eating. And what that is, is where you eliminate your processed carbs, you go with a high fat content, you go with medium protein, and you go with a very low, and we are live, so you're gonna hear a car behind us say hello, we're out in the woods, but there's a car going by, of course. So what you do is you alter your fuel source. You go from a glucose-based fuel source to a ketone-based fuel source, and you do that through ketogenic living, and we'll talk about that. But let's talk about why the scale is your worst enemy. So one of the things that people think, and they'll see oftentimes with their very first week or two in ketogenic living, is they'll see a, a, a wonderful drop on the scales. But if we think that the scales are gonna tell us the truth, we are misinformed. And so what I wanna to do today is talk to you about what our fat cells do. So I want you to think of our fat cells as having different shapes and different sizes, like this bowl here that you see. So we have different fat cells in our body, and as we eat a glucose-driven lifestyle, as that is what we eat, insulin's gonna come out of our pancreas, and it's gonna force glucose into these cells. Our cells will use what it needs. The rest of it, it says, heh, there's probably a famine coming, so I should store this, because I might need this. And so what happens is it's pushed into the cell, becomes a triglyceride where it's stored. Think of a bear hibernating over, over the winter. So what happens when you go on a ketogenic lifestyle, you have stopped taking in a lot of glucose. So now the body's looking around for something to fuel itself and it says, that's right, I stored energy in that fat cell. It's time to pull it out. So it pulls out fat, it breaks it open into glycerol and um, ketones where the body uses that for fuel. The fat cell's not happy, especially if you're like me and you have lived your life yo-yo dieting. And the fat cell says, she's just kidding. She's just going to do this again. It's going to last a week or two and then she's back to normal. So what it does is as the fat exits, and I don't know if we can get this so you can see a close up. So can, if you can see the water in there, as that fat is coming out of the cell, the, the fat cell goes, uh-uh, I am not changing shape because I know her. So it's going to pull water into the fat and it's going, this cell is going to stay the same size. It's going to weigh the same yet you're breaking down fat because you have ketones in your urine. And so when you get on the scales, you can have this long period of time, a week, two weeks, sometimes three weeks, whereas the fat ratio is going down, the fat cell is, cell is still drawing liquid water into the fat cell, and you are not losing weight. And if you trust the scales and you say, this isn't working or I'm discouraged and so I'm gonna eat something because it's just not working, you, you kick everything back into glucose metabolism. So what I want you to realize is that over time, you're gonna be smarter than your fat. And the fat is going to be down to the point that it's almost all water, and let's go, crap. I now have to change shape. It is time for me to collapse down on myself, and I'm not gonna be able to stay like this. And what it's gonna do is it's going to collapse down on itself. The water is gonna be released sort of in a whoosh, if you will, and watch out, watch the tree. <laughs> what happens is the fat is, the water is released, the fat cell collapses down, and you'll suddenly be down a pound or two. So here's what I want you to do. You have to promise me. This is real science. This is real stuff. Don't trust the scale. Have a shirt or something that's too tight. Have a pair of pants or a belt, something that doesn't have elastic. You are not gonna live in the elastic world anymore. You're gonna live in things that button. And what I want you to do is every week on a certain day, I want you to take that one item of clothing, no matter what the scale says, you've gotta promise me. You're gonna stay in ketosis. You're gonna stay living this ketogenic lifestyle. You're gonna try on the clothing because you're losing fat. It's a fat loss program. It's fat loss. So if you have more questions, I hope that makes sense because we are all about this. Woohoo! Have a good day.